Well, what you play with obviously so many people. Um, but what do you get out of doing Plural One as a solo act? as the guy in charge. Yeah, well, who... I mean, as of now, I've just been in charge of myself and when to turn <laughs> up at the studio, which I rarely <laughs> do a good job at. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the funny thing about that this record because um, I very luckily have this relationship with Andrew over at ORG, which is the label that puts out the record, and he'll just put out my records for me. Oh, and um, it's convenient. And when I was playing with the Chili Peppers, it would just sort of, it would exist, and the few people who cared would go find it, and it would that would be it. Now that I'm not playing with those guys anymore, um, and it's so fortuitous that this record exists and I can stand behind it. It's, you know, because if, if I had been dismissed from the Chili Peppers and then went and made a record mm-hmm. the next week, it probably would have had a strange uh, energy to it that, yeah. that would be sort of, you know, kind of impacted by what had just happened. So luckily this exists. And it's funny that it's the one that I'm standing and you know behind, and this is my solo quote unquote record. But I, uh, I'm just I'm just so uh, thankful that I made it. <laughs> As it am I. But I guess that's interesting that you bring that up with the timing. Is that I I assumed, or maybe other people assumed, that um, maybe you saw some kind of writing on the wall or something. So you were like, I'm going to focus on my solo stuff because I might not have this other band going on. Like, was there anything that you maybe would was the timing just a coincidence, or was it there was, something where you're like, "I'm gonna have something else going on just in case"? It was kind of a coincidence, I guess. Just um, as I said earlier, I'm just—it's hard for me to sit still, so I'm always doing something. In the past, it was with a, a band, and then this time around, it was just sort of on my own, so it was seemingly solo. But you know, um, my focus was always the band, and right whenever the band was working, that's what I was doing. But um, you know, I, I guess it's hard to say. I never. I never saw this coming. What what wound up happening with John coming back? But um, you know, I guess it's just, it's just uh, it, yeah. I mean, I guess it just speaks to to never wanting to stop writing and working. Like you said, writing on the wall. I mean, I just you know writing songs and singing them and being the person who's responsible for the uh, the reaction from people and whether it affects them or not is something that I get I've had the ability to do and then I retreat from because then I go back into the band or I'm sort of on mm-hmm. the side um, and uh, yeah I mean I guess just always trying to work on that and, and uh, do it more and kind of be more comfortable in that role is something that I was just always doing so whether I, I, I can't say I saw it but I'm, I'm glad that I kept doing it. <laughs> 